Luke chapter 8, verse 22. And when you have it, say amen. 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 Luke chapter 8, verse 22. Now it came to pass on a certain day that he went into a ship with his disciples. And he said unto them, Let us go over to the, unto the other side of the lake. And they launched forth. But as they sailed, he fell to sleep. And there came down a storm of wind on the lake. And they were filled with water and were in jeopardy. Come on. And they came to him and awoke him, saying, Master, Master, we perish. Then he arose and rebuked the wind and the raging of the water, and they ceased, and there was a calm. And he said unto them, Where is your faith? And they, being afraid, wondered, saying one to another, What manner of man is this? For he commandeth even the winds and the water, and they obey him. Amen. After he said they would make they would go to the other side, they had to go to the other side. Nothing could stop it. Come on. Nothing could stop them from going to the other side. Amen. Not a devil could stop it. Come on. Not even the angels could. Come Nothing on. could stop it. Yeah. Joshua six and one. It says, Now Jericho was straightly shut up because of the children of Israel. None went in, none went out, and none came in. So Jericho was shut. No one came in, no one went out. Amen. They were stuck. The people in the city were stuck in the city. Yeah. Verse 2, And the Lord said unto Joshua, See, I have given into thine hand Jericho, and the king thereof, and the mighty men of Valar. And they shall compass the city, all ye men of war, and go round about the city once. Thus shalt thou do six, six days. And, and the seven priests shall bear before the ark seven times of ram's horns. And the seventh day ye shall compass the city seven times, and the priests shall blow with the trumpets, and it shall come to pass that when they make a long blast with the ram's horn, and when ye hear the sound of the trumpet, all the people shall shout with a great shout, and the wall of the city, city shall fall down flat, and the people shall ascend up every man straight before him. Verse 12. And Joshua rose early in the morning, and the priests took up the ark of the Lord, and the seven priests, bearing seven trumpets of ram's horns before the ark of the Lord, went on continua continually and blew with the trumpets. And the armed men went before them, but the reward came after the ark of the Lord, the priests going on, and the blowing with the trumpets. And the second day they compassed the city once and returned into the camp. So they did six, day, six days. And it came to pass on the seventh day that they rose early about the dawning of the day and compassed the city after the same manner seven times. Only on that day they compassed the city seven times. And it came to pass that at the seventh time when the priests blew with the trumpets, Joshua said unto the people, Shout, for the Lord hath given you the city. Over. The only thing that could stop this was Joshua. Come on. Joshua was the only thing that could stop this. That could stop them from winning the battle. Joshua was the only thing. All they had to do was march around the wall once the first six days and then seven times on the seventh day. Amen. They had to follow God's instructions. Come on. And if they did that, they were going to win the battle. Amen. Exodus 
15, verse 21. Exodus 13 and 21. And the Lord went before them by day in a pillar of a cloud and led them the way, and by night a pillar of fire to give them light, to go by day and night. He took not away the pillar of the cloud by day, nor the pillar of fire by night from before the people. Four, 14 and 20. And it came between the camp of the Egyptians and the camp of Israel. And it was a cloud and darkness to them. But it gave light by night to these, so that the one came not near the other all, all, all the night. And Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and the Lord caused the sea to go back by a strong east wind all that night, and made the sea dry land, and the waters were divided. And the children of Israel went into the midst of the sea upon the dry ground, and the waters were a wall unto them on their right hand and on their left. Amen. And the Egyptians pursued and went in after them, to the midst of the sea, even all Pharaoh's horses and his chariots and his horsemen. And it came to pass that in the morning watched the Lord looked unto the host of the Egyptians through the pillar of fire and of the cloud and troubled the host of the Egyptians and took off their chariot wheels that they, dra that they drave them heavily so that the Egyptians said, Let us Flee from the face of Israel, for the Lord fighteth for them against the Egyptians. And the Lord said to Moses, Stretch out thine hand over the sea, that the waters may come again upon the Egyptians, upon their chariots, and upon their horsemen. And Moses stretched forth his hand over the sea, and the sea returned to his strength when the morning appeared, and the Egyptians fled against it. And the Lord overthrew the Egyptians in the midst of the sea. And the waters returned and covered the chariots and the horsemen and all the hosts of Pharaoh that came into the sea after them. There remained not so much as one of them. But the children of Israel walked upon dry land in the midst of the sea, and the waters were a wall unto them on their right hand and on their left. Thus the Lord saved Israel that day out of the hand of the Egyptians, and Israel saw the Egyptians dead upon the sea shore. God said that they would make it out of Egypt. Yeah. God said that he would take them out of Egypt. Come on. And he had split the sea just to make his word come to pass. He, he split the sea to make his word come to pass. Come he stilled the waters to make his word to come to pass. Yeah. Even the waters have to obey His word. Amen. Amen. Matthew 17 and 22 And while they abode in Galilee, Jesus said unto them, The Son of Man shall be betrayed into the hands of men, and they shall kill Him, and the third day He shall be raised again. And they were exceeding sorry. And now we're reading about the resurrection. John 20 and 1. And the first day of the week cometh Mary Magdalene early, when it was yet dark, unto the sepulcher, and seeth the stone taken away from the sepulcher. And, she, and then she runneth, and cometh to Simon Peter, and to the other disciple, whom Jesus loved, and saith unto them, They have, they have taken away the Lord out of the sepulcher, and we know not where they have laid him. Now, the, Mary Magdalene and the disciples believe that they had come and taken Jesus away by, during the night. Yeah. But in Matthew, he said, On the third day the Son of Man shall rise again. Oh. Verse 3, verse tw John 20 and 3, Peter therefore went forth and 
and that other disciple and came to the sepulchre. So they ran both together, and the other disciple did outrun Peter and came first to the sepulchre. And he, stooping down and looking in, saw the linen clothes laying, yet went he not in. Then cometh Simon Peter following him, and went into the sepulchre, and seeth the linen clothes lie, and the napkin that was about his head not laying with the linen clothes, but wrapped together in a place by itself. Then went in also that other disciple, which came first to the sepulchre, and he saw and believed. For as yet they knew not the scripture that he must rise again from the dead. They didn't remember that scripture that he was going to rise again. Come on. He had told them <clears throat> in Gal when they abode in Galilee, the Son of Man shall be betrayed and will be killed and will Come rise on. again. Yeah. But they didn't remember it. Yeah. No. Nope. He had said he would rise again. So nothing could stop it. Come on. He said he would rise again, so nothing could stop that. Amen. Yeah. When God said, let there be light, Come nothing on. could stop that. Amen. The angels couldn't stop it. Come on. When he... When, when he said, let there be dry land, and that ain't an exact quote, but when yeah. he said... Let there be dry land. Come there was on. dry land. Nothing yeah. could stop that. Amen. Nothing could stop God from... Nothing could stop the light from appearing. Nothing could stop the dry land from appearing. Come on. Nothing could stop them from going to the other side. Nothing could stop them from not leaving Egypt. Nothing Come could on. stop Jesus from raising from the dead. Yeah. Nothing could stop Joshua winning the battle except for Joshua. Come on. Nothing could stop it. Yeah. If God promises something, it's going to have to come to pass. Amen. Come on. Because he, he is not a liar. He come is on. not a man who lies. Yeah. Give the Lord a hand clap. Amen. Amen. Amen.